Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit Architecture 2024 for beginners. I am architect Sonu Rai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to discuss with you floors in Revit. So how to make floors in Revit Architecture. So if you go to your architecture tab, you can see this is the symbol of floors. So if you look at the definition, it creates a floor for the current table of the building model. So suppose this is my building model and if you look at uh, the 3D, say you can see there is no floors into this. So you can create the floors by using floor tool here. So if you look at level one, this is simple floor plans, but there is no floors. So we are required to create floor for this. So I am going to my level one and then I am going to this floor and i will click this arrow here and you can see there are floor architecture floor structure floor by face for slab edges so this you will learn in massing and this is for a structural part so we are not required for architectural part so this is for floor structural and floor slab edge so we will only concentrate on to this floor architectural so i'm going to select floor architectural and if you look at the properties here so you can see here there is floor 12 inches and there is a uh, 3 inch lw concrete on 2 inch metal deck and there are some 12 inch filled and steel bar joist 14 inch wood joist 10 inch and wood joist 10 inch wood finish this is ceramic tile finish and so this is uh, your default floors so you can start uh, using this so first i am going to show you how to make a generic 12 inch uh, floor here so i'm going to select this and this is the at level one and height offset will be zero feet zero, zero inches and you can see the rest setting will be same there so i'm going to draw for my level one floor so you can see here this is a draw panel here in every commands of revit so for floor also it is given here draw so you can see there is a boundary line slope arrow span direction so uh, you can use this line tool to draw you can use rectangle also this is uh, inscribed polygon circumscribed polygon this is circle circular uh, floor and this is for arc type of floor so you can use this this is center end arc this is tangent end arc this is fillet arc sp line and ellipse and partial ellipse this is peak lines and this is peak walls so first i am going to use the simple one the line so you can select this and you can start drawing your floor so first i am going to select this area here so i'm going to draw floor for this whole building so you can select this one this one this one and this one so you can see this is slightly off from the wall so you can drag this also like this and now after this it is joined here on all the corners of the building you can simply finish this green arrow here finish edit mode you can also cross this by cancel edit mode so if i am going to use this finish edit mode you can see uh, this is turned into floor so if you look at the 3d here you can see this floor is created this is 12 inch floor which is created here so you can change the material to see so i'm you can select this from your 3d view also and you can also select from floor plan so uh, if i'm going bringing mouse here it is selecting wall so you can start pressing tab here and you can select the floor here and you can change the material from here also and from 3d view also so i'm going to my properties here and i'm going to floor 12 so inches edit type uh, not you can duplicate always so create a duplicate of here and every object, object which you will create in for you to change later on so it is always recommended in revit to always create a duplicate of this 
So I'm going to create a duplicate of floors. So I'm going to name this as anything floor finish GF. So I'm going to use this structure now. I'm going to edit mode and you can see this is the thickness of this floor structure. This is one feet. You can change to any other thickness also like six inches, four inches and you can change the material from here this is by category and so i'm going to select this my category and you can see this is the three dot here you can simply click on this three dot and you can go to this material browser and you can create a new material and you can right click here and you can rename this so i'm going to rename this as a ground floor floor you can simply select this and now you can go to this asset browser and you can give any finish here so i'm going to use concrete and you can use smooth precast here and now you can select any other light color here so i am going to use this one I'm going to apply OK, OK, apply OK. So now if you will make this realistic also for uh, plan. So I'm going to visual style and I will make it as a realistic and you can see this is the, our floor and this is the wall color here. So you can go to 3D view and you can see this floor material is changed. So likewise you can do this now we can easily differentiate so this is our floor so if you want to make any edit here you can simply uh, start pressing tab here till the floor is selected so this floor is selected and now you can use this edit boundary so if you want to edit your boundary you can select this edit boundary and now we can see we are in edit mode so if you want to increase or decrease you can simply use this arrow so suppose i want to increase this portion here and i want to create for uh, my building uh, any sit out area so i'm going to finish this and we'll check in 3d view and this is created so you can use this for creating edit mode so you can simply select from 3d also and you can go to edit boundary and you can edit this simply so i'm going to my floor plan view and now i am going to use another floor so suppose i am going to select this floor again and now i am going to select this wood finish here so i want to create a wood finish for this room here so i am going to select this uh, wood finish here wood joist 10 inch and now I'm going to uh, give this height offset of 10 inches because this is as a ground floor and there is a already a floor here. So I'm going to apply and now I'm going to use this rectangle tool and because this room is rectangular. So I'm going to use this rectangle tool here and I'm going to select this room and I have given height offset of 10 inches. So I'm going to finish this and you can see this wood finish is created here and you can check in your 3d view so this is our wood finish here so likewise you can create floor and you can edit this also floor you can simply press tab till the floor is selected and you can create any of shape here also by using this and now you can also use this floor and you can use this pick walls also so you can start picking walls and your floor will be created so suppose i i'm going to use this for this area toilet area and i'm going to start picking wall and you can see this has picked wall so i want to use for this area only this toilet area so you can simply use this trim extend corner you can trim these lines and now this is in rectangular shape you can simply press 
finish edit mode and the floor area for this toilet is created so likewise you can uh, work with this project here and you can use floor tool so i am going to again select floor here and you can use this floor for making any pergola or uh, projections also you can use roof tool also from here you can press ctrl z and you can use this roof also so we'll uh, make a tutorial about roof in an upcoming tutorial so i'm going to select floor and suppose i'm going to make a rectangular projection and now i'm going to select this generic 12 inches and i'm going to edit type and i'm going to duplicate this and i will make a change here projection and i will click ok and now i'm going to structure edit and i will reduce the thickness so for projection i'm going to make this as 4 inches and you can change the material so you can create any material and can change the color and material from here and you can click ok ok and now i'm going to give height offset of 7 feet projection so i want to give any projection here so you can use a floor to make the projection also so you can simply make any changes here so suppose i want to make 4 feet projection i will change this temporary dimensions and now this is at a 7 feet can finish this edit mode and this is a floor plan so it is not visible because it is above our eye level so i am going to my 3d view to visualize this and you can see here this is the projection which i have created with the floor so you can simply increase this height because this window is more than 7 feet only so i am going to make this as 7 feet 4 inches and i am going to apply or enter so you can see this is our projection by using floor you can see here this is our projection and you can make any changes also so suppose if you want to create any design here so i'm going to my site plan here and i will select this floor by using my site plan and i'm going to select this and now i'm going to edit boundary and now we are in edit mode so if you want to create any uh, shapes here you can any cutout so you can use any tool here so suppose i'm going to use my rectangle tool and now i'm going to make a hole into this floor so i am going to copy this and i will use this copy command here co and i will start making cutouts at any distance so I am going to finish edit mode and now you can see uh, the cutout is created and if you can check in 3D so this is by using floor tool here and now I again can create any shapes so suppose I am going to my again floor here and you can use this inscribed polygon so if you want to draw any floor here you can use this inscribed finish this and i'm going to press ctrl z and i will make this as a zero so i'm going to finish this and now we can easily uh, view this in floor plan and you can see this is our inscribed polygon so you can draw this kind of floor shapes and you can go to again floor here and you can use these tools also circular and arc shape also you can draw any floor here by using arc tool and you can finish this and you can see this arc shape is created so this is just to make you understand and you can use these tool uh, pick line also pick walls just now i have taught you so you can also use this pick line to make any floor so i am going to select this and you can start pick any lines here so suppose i am going to pick this staircase area and this is overlapped line so i am going to delete this 
and again I'm going to use this pick line you can pick these lines and you can use this trim extend corner to offset this so this is just for beginners and you can make any floor here so it is saying line must be in a closed loop so these two lines are open at one end so we need to close this we can zoom it and you can see this is not closed so i'm again i'm going to use the stream extent and i'm going to close this and i'm going to use finish edit mode and you can see this floor is created but we are not able to view this so i'm going to increase this height so i'm going to make this as a 10 inch and i'm going to finish this and now you can view this floor in 3d also so you can see this floor is created here by using pick lines so likewise you can create floors by using pick lines and pick walls and you can use this partial ellipse and ellipse shapes also you can use this and you can use also this fillet arc and tangent and arc here so if i'm going to draw any floor here and suppose i'm going to draw a floor here and i'm going to finish this and i'm going to select this and i'm going to edit boundary and you can use this flat arc and now i'm going to uh, select this end and this end and you can draw any fillet here so this is very easy so this is the use of fillet arc so likewise you can practice so now again i am going to show you another thing here so i am going to draw any floor here and you can use this slope arrow so this will be used to add a slope arrow to your floor so suppose if you are making swimming pool floor so this will be handy or if you want to make any uh, ramp type floors here so this will be used so slope arrow so i'm going to select this slope arrow and now it is asking the uh, this draw here draw line or pick line so you can draw any slope here so i'm going to draw in this direction so you can see here and you can go to properties here and you can see level at tail is default so this one is tail and level offset at head is one fit so this is at a one fit so suppose i am going to increase this offset as three feet so height offset at a tail is three feet and height offset at head i am going to make this as a six feet and i am going to apply and finish this and you can see in 3d to better understand this so you can see here this is at level three feet this is just above this building and this is the head at a six feet so this is the use of span here in floor so you can see here this slope arrow and this is the span direction so this will, will be used to specify a boundary line of a structural floor to which metal deck will be run parallel so we will consider it on to this slope arrow so this will be very handy if you are making any swimming pool floor or any slope floor here so you are required to keep practicing and this is for defining boundary line and these are the draw tools so this is the basic introduction for beginners how to draw a floors in revit so thanks for watching bye bye